Let's talk about it with attorney Emily Campagno. Good morning. You know, the sexual harassment in politics is, is really coming to the forefront now, and it's hitting Democrats. I wanted to ask you first off, Emily, about the Democrat response to this. Let's form an ethics committee to investigate. Is that a good policy? It is. I think all kinds of oversight would be positive here. Now, note that Senator Franken himself has called for an ethics committee investigation, which is important because in past investigations, the committee has cited the level of commitment and the level of cooperation from the investigatee as evidence whether or not they should be expelled. Now, this is what that would look like. In the past, they have investigated, for example, a senator for over 33 months upon which releasing 10,000 pages of detailed documentation into his behavior. Now, that was Senator Bob Packwood. They unanimously recommended expulsion, and he resigned. But senators keep their pensions no matter what, unless they've been convicted of a crime against basically national treason or, um, or classified yeah. information. So here, it really, it's, it's, not a lot can happen unless they unanimously recommend. And their track record is such mm -hmm. that it is rare. It just seems to me that an ethics committee is a way to say, oh, we'll worry about this later. You brought up resignation. Politico is reporting that there's whispers among top Democrats and Republicans that Al Franken should resign. Do you think he should? It would be a positive step for optics. However, I think what would be more beneficial to the society right now is if the Ethics Committee conducted a probe, and here's why. Those six senators would then have to go on record with establishing a standard for sexual harassment, especially one that occurred prior to his being elected. I think that's important to set the standard for the entire House. Now, last year, they received 63 recommendations and over 10,000 email recommendations for them to look into these allegations. They only investigated a few and five of which they did preliminary inquiries. Mm -hmm. So when their options are outside counsel that formalizes the process or their months long investigations or referral to the DOJ, that's what the public needs to see. Yeah. So to me, that's the step that would be refreshing. And she had that photo. That photo is pretty damaging, right? I mean, Al Franken basically has to do what he did, say he's sorry. I mean, that, that could hurt him in the end, the proof. Absolutely. And especially, again, this occurred before his election. So yeah. it, it calls to mind that the culpability and the responsibility precedes that actual election. It, mm -hmm. you, don't, you can't start being a saint just because you were elected. And, you know, I did a USO tour. They are absolutely grueling and emotionally exhausting. And when you're sleeping... You're passed out, so nothing will wake you up, and it's a really unfortunate situation. Emily, thank you so much for your perspective today. Thank you.